I yes, because I am like I said, this this these are being tabled once a month at the teaching service commission. And then the secretariat are the ones that end up compiling the documents so that when they meet, they go to them. That's how they work. Now if there's something that goes wrong or or whatever there, then the ones are, that are being penalized, you know, the teachers. Which again, it's unfair. Yes, so that is the situation. Um, I will contact people to see where we stand, and as, as soon as I end up getting any info from him, then I will relay to you the information. I, I know he's about to move over to the um, to get the permit for the um, demonstration. Well, yeah. We'll see what um, happens from here until then. But I believe that you're still on board. Yes. Yes. Okay. We Thank are you. here to stand for our teachers. Yes. Okay. okay. Very good teachers. We're here to stand for all of us. Okay, I just want to read something on what Mr. Melvin has been saying. And this is, um, I have a document here that has to do with grievance handling. Okay, it says here, what is your understanding or definition of a grievance? A grievance is A, the breaking of an agreement, such as an employment, job, contract, or a violation of a law policy or work rule by management or worker. Example, we have some examples here, Education Act, the Education Board Rules, Employment, Job Contract, Labor Act, Social Security Act, and Benefits, Pension Act, Public Service Regulation, which are general orders, Government Workers Rule, Teachers Handbook by Management, School Rules, Church Rules, Code of Ethics, etc. B, the changing of established customs, agreements, and practices without first discussing same with the union, school, staff, or parents, and students. It says here in brackets, in some cases. You know that sometimes we, we don't read well, I guess, or, or we miss those little details or footnotes at the end of documents, and that's why things are happening right now. That's why it says here, in some cases, in other brackets, okay? Example, time off for union meetings, or time off to collect pay and do other businesses as agreed. C, the introduction of new policies. And here we have a thing with the introduce something to the amends, the, the Education Act, Teacher Service Commission did some amendments to the education rule, and that's we are here today laws, etc., without consulting or notifying the workers for their agent, in brackets, union. D, the violation of workers' rights. Example, poor working conditions, working hours, non-payment of allowances, and other agreed benefits. So it's clear, it's here, I am not inventing teachers. Now they say types of grievances. And this is the one we are looking at, number one. Individual or personal grievance. And this says, which affects persons individually. Example, a person did not receive his or her pay increment. So we are all at risk. 
We are all here because we haven't received increments. Apparently, we heard from our principal that they are not working with increment forms. They are doing employment, something dealing with employment. They say they will deal with that until January 2019, but we don't know if that will be retroactive. As it. So question marks are out there. We don't know where we stand. That's why we went the other day, November 7, to Belmopan, again, concerning all these problems that we are going through, we are facing as teachers. Our leaders out there are failing to realize that education is the future of police. Teachers, if there is no education, there is nobody out there. Not even them, they would be up there. They are there because a teacher taught them. They were, they were not born smart. They were there, they were taught by a teacher. Regardless of what they are right now, they were, they, they were educated by a teacher. So we deserve our benefits just like anybody else. I don't know, but I on the news the other day I heard when we were going to Belmopan, the minister, Boots Martinez said, they, will need, they need to give me all my benefits. I deserve all my benefits. What about us? What do we deserve? Do we deserve this? No, no. no we are working no. hard. We are yeah. earning every cent that we need to get from government. We are not just sitting like some parents say, oh, some arrogant perezosas. They are lazy. No. We have sleepless hour 24-7. We take a pile of papers to correct at home. Maybe they don't know that. I don't know why our Minister of Education is giving us so much hard time when he was a teacher before. He knows what we go through. Right? Oh, wanted to be. Oh, sorry. Rephrase it. Wanted to be. Sorry. Oh, it's a wannabe. Anyways, this is our situation. They are trampling on our education. They are putting us down there. Yet, we are not being given our due payments, allowances, and everything that we need to get. I don't know, they want to create a bunch of fools, ignorant people. What will be the future of Belize? Are we going back to slavery? Teachers, are we going back to slavery? No. But I'm teaching. Life example. See me here? Says, I teach my students to stand up for themselves. Here's my real life example. See me here. Okay, so teachers, we are not here because we want to. This has been happening and we have not taken a stand. And now it's happening to our Mount Carmel, RC primary school. We have been out there with the big, with the union fighting for other people, but now we have it. Our situation is here now. So we need to take a stand. We need to tell minister what is happening. You are losing focus of what is to be in the classroom, what is to be a teacher. You are not fit for the job anymore. We need to call on our Prime Minister to look into this problem. We need to tell him, look, investigate what is happening. Why are we being treated like this? Why are we being cheated of our monies? So teachers, please, let's stand for our rights. Let's fight for our rights.